So uh, the, the meeting is now being recorded and I'd just really uh, like to introduce um, our next speaker, Afolabi Adebukunola, or she likes to be called Biki. He's a registered nurse and midwife and public health nurse um, from Abafemi Awawalawa University Teaching Hospitals, Osun State, Nigeria. So um, a really warm welcome from Nigeria and to Buki. Thank, thanks for, for being here to present your work on safe motherhood. So if you want to take over now, Buki, um, and I'll mute my microphone. Enjoy. Good morning, everyone. I'm Afalabi Abibukala Rajimoke from Nigeria. I want to appreciate the organizing committee of the 2014 VIDN for giving me the privilege to be part of the presenter for the 2014 VIDN. I want to say kudos and more power to your elbow. This morning, the title of my presentation is Safe Motherhood International Issues. I have on my outline Safe Motherhood, Aims and Objectives of Safe Motherhood, Safe Motherhood Initiative, International Issue, International Midwifery and Midwife Role in Promoting Safe Motherhood current stroke critical issues in safe motherhood, future plan for safe motherhood. What is safe motherhood? Safe motherhood is the ability of a woman to undertake pregnancy and childbirth without harm to herself and child. It is a human rights approach to ensuring the life, health, and well-being of women throughout the reproductive years, as well as the health and well-being of newborn. Said motherhood is one of the components of the reproductive rights of a woman. It is a woman's ability to have a safe, healthy pregnancy and delivery. Safe motherhood covers a broad range of direct and indirect efforts to reduce deaths and disabilities resulting from pregnancy and childbirth. The direct efforts are geared towards ensuring that every woman has access to a full range of high quality, affordable sexual and reproductive health care services, which include maternal, maternal care and care of obstetrics emergencies. The indirect efforts, however, include the efforts uh, addresses social and other conditions that may affect women's health. Aims and objectives of safe motherhood. Safe motherhood focuses on three main objectives. One, ensuring access for all women to contraceptive services to delay the forced birth and avoid unintended pregnancies. Two, it ensures access to skilled care at the time of birth. Three, it provides timely access to quality emergency obstetric care. World Health Organization pillars of safe motherhood. These are good antenatal care, clean and safe delivery, essential obstetric care, and family planning. Essential services for safe motherhood. These services for safe motherhood should be readily available through a network of linked community healthcare providers 
clinic and hospitals and they include one community education on safe motherhood prenatal care and counseling including the promotion of maternal nutrition skill dependence during childbirth care for obstetrics complication including emergencies postpartum care post abortion care and where termination of pregnancy is not against the law safe abortion services family planning counseling information and services reproduction reproductive health education and services for adolescents hi. and lastly hi it's anna um I'm hello the slides are being moved on so uh, could you just make sure that you're clicking on the, the arrows at the bottom to make sure the that powerpoint the powerpoint my powerpoint is not showing uh, you can't see Hi, the powerpoint Hannah. in the middle yes yes okay so chris would you be able to um would you be able to to, to see if um Yuki can um see her the powerpoint slides I, I'm able to see them, Buki, but, um, but but I can tell that you're that you're not moving them on as you're speaking. I can see the slides too. I'm not sure what you can see, Buki. Can what? Um, sorry, people, uh, everybody. We just need to interrupt for a second to make sure what Buki can see. Buki, what have you got on your screen? Can you see? Um, can you see the chat on the right hand side? Yes, I can see the right. The chat, I can see the chat, yes. And can you see the list of uh, attendees on the left hand side underneath your photograph? Yes, I can see and, them. Um, in the middle, um, we can see your slide, the slideshow called safemotherhood.ppt. What have you got in the middle of the screen? Nothing. You have got except nothing? For, except for the title at the upper border of the screen. Okay, um, I'm not sure about that. Um, so yes, if you can tell us which slide, if you tell us each time you need to change a slide, we will change the slide for you. Okay, so where are you up to, Chris, uh, If I can uh, interrupt, it, 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 it uh, might be the connection Buki on. Uh, yes. If it's narrow, then it's not transmitted. So it's a good idea to, to decide what you just said. Yeah, okay, I, I can thanks. move the slides on because I've practiced this with Buki. Okay. So, Buki, if you tell me which, which if you have a, maybe one of your presentations up outside of this system, so you can talk through it, and I, if you tell me that's, which slide you're on. That's exactly, which that's slide exactly you, what I'm using. Yeah, so if you tell me which slide you're up to, and then I'll get to the relevant slide, slide. Slide, slide 18, slide 18. What's the, the 18th title? slide? Safe motherhood continued. Safe motherhood continued. Okay, and with the with the bullet point, safe motherhood covers. Yes. Okay, so will you tell me when you want to move on, and then I'll click yeah. forwards. Okay. Okay. So number five. Number Thank five. Post. Okay. Number five. Postpartum care. Number six, post-abortion care, and where termination of pregnancy is not against the law, safe abortion care. Number seven, family planning, counseling, information and services. Number eight, reproductive health, education and services for adolescents. And number, one, number nine, which is the last one on the slide, right-based approach to reproductive health and services. Said Motherhood Initiative. This is a global effort that aims to reduce deaths and illnesses among women and infants, especially in developing countries. It was first launched in 1987 by the World Health Organization, World Bank, and the United Nations Fund for Population Activities. And the Safe Motherhood Initiative was geared towards 
improving maternal health and reducing the number of maternal deaths by half in the year 2000. It was also geared towards raising awareness, set priorities, stimulate research, mobilize mobilize resources, provide technical assistance, and share information. Next slide. Next slide, Hannah. The Second Motherhood Initiative is a multi-year, multi-stakeholder project that comprises of nurses, midwife, physician, patient safety specialist, and other partners working together to standardize care in all obstetrics hospitals to prevent obstetrics emergencies associated with maternal mortality and morbidity. Next slide. The same motherhood initiative focuses on three leading causes of maternal deaths. These include obstetrics hemorrhage, ranging from antipartum hemorrhage, intrapartum hemorrhage, as well as postpartum hemorrhage. We have severe hypertension in pregnancy, ranging from preeclampsia, preeclampsia from mild, moderate and severe, as well as eclampsia. Then number three, venous thrombosis. Aims of Safe Motherhood Initiative. The aims of Safe Motherhood Initiative is geared towards attaining optimal maternal and newborn health, that is reduction of maternal mortality and morbidity, and enhancement of the health of the newborn infants through equitable access to primary health care, including family planning, prenatal, delivery and postnatal care for mother and infants, and access to essential obstetrics and neonatal care. International midwifery and midwife role in promoting safe motherhood. A midwife is a person who, having been regularly admitted, to a midwifery educational program duly recognized in the country in which it is located has successfully completed the prescribed course of study in the midwifery and has acquired the requisite qualifications to be registered full or legally licensed to practice midwifery. The midwife is recognized as a responsible and accountable professional who works in partnership with women to give necessary support, care, and advice during pregnancy, labor, and the postpartum period. To conduct that on the midwife's own responsibility and to provide care for the newborn and the infants. A midwife may practice in any setting, including home, community, hospital, clinic, or any health units. Midwife remain member of a highly skilled workforce with a scope to provide world-class maternity care to pregnant women. Midwife are the lead professionals for all elderly women with straightforward pregnancies, as well as women with complicated pregnancies, working as a key coordinator of care within the multidisciplinary team, liaising closely with obstetrician, general practitioner, public health practitioner, maternity care assistant, as well as social context, social care context. Midwife role in promoting safe motherhood. The midwife provides a wide range of care, which include preventing, prevent, preventive measures, the promotion of normal births, the detection of complications, 
in mother and child, the accessing of medical care or other It looks like um, Buki may have had a connection um, dif difficulty, so I'll just um, talk through, or you can read through the slide that's up there, and we'll just wait for um, wait for her to return. Can can you hear hear me, Buki? Okay. So what I'll do is um, I'll I'll read through um, the slides that uh, Buki has uh, developed for us to share with us today. So she was talking about the... hello Buki. Hello, Han. I don't can hear you now. Okay, don't hello. You can, you can carry on now. That's brilliant. Welcome back. I'm on slide 24. Yes. I'm on slide 26. Yes. I'm on slide 26. Yes. Yes. Wise roles in promoting safe motherhood continued, and you were on the second point. Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Little free remains. Can I continue, Anna? Midwifery free remains a positive career choice with a range of rewarding with a range of rewarding career pathway, including research, clinical academic career, which will enable the midwifery profession to better engage in the collaborative research agenda. Current critical issues in safe motherhood. It is to be noted that pregnancy is not a disease, but a means by which the human race is propagated. The hazard of childbirth cannot be avoided by simply preventing pregnancies. Furthermore, the loss of a woman in pregnancy or childbirth has devastating effects on the family she leaves behind. When a woman dies in childbirth, the death of her infant is almost certain. Investment in safe motherhood, however, reduces household poverty, saves family and government the cost of treatments and other services and strengthens the health system. In addition, an investment in safe motherhood is an investment in the emotional, social, and economic well-being of millions of women, children, families, and communities. Safe motherhood in Africa. The purpose of safe motherhood in Africa includes promoting and protecting the rights to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of health and to contribute to the well-being of the women and children of the region through advocacy, strategic partnership, and the generation of knowledge. Overview of critical issues on safe motherhood in some African countries. In Gambia, the safe motherhood program in Gambia identified midwife as the most appropriate to provide advanced life-saving skill in midwifery care and therefore support the development of extended role of the midwife. However, in Malawi, safe motherhood intervention in Malawi include translating teaching materials for midwife for use in rural areas, reducing delays in providing obstetric care and improving quality of maternal care and standard of practice. In South Africa, however, South Africa's developed primary health care system offers free health care for mothers and children under six 
with the objective to improve access to care, equipping midwife advanced schemes. In Zambia, efforts are concerned on improving quality of services at all levels. Initiatives include testing life saving skill models in midwifery schools, improving logistics for training, identifying hospitals with shortcomings, upgrading technical and counseling skills for midwife and other clinical staff, and increasing awareness for the referral system for obstetrics complications. Now in Nigeria. Nigeria has one of the highest maternal mortality ratio in the world. One in 100 maternal beds for every 100,000 live births. More than 40% of women giving birth do not receive prenatal care from a trained personnel. The Nigerian government, however, has adopted several policies aimed at reducing maternal mortality by 75% by the year 2015. However, the lack effective implementation, largely because of the very low level of government spending on health care. Most programming on safe motherhood in Nigeria has been initiated by non-governmental organizations working with funding from international donors. Recent, recent programs and policies in Nigeria have the potential to improve quality of maternal health. Efforts towards this include provision of adequate resources, which include trained personnel, up-to-date equipment, and most importantly, sufficient funding. Here are the challenges facing safe motherhood objectives in Nigeria and indeed most African countries. Number one, delay in deciding to seek health care. This has been as a result of different reasons, different um, reasons from illiteracy, ranging from illiteracy, cultural belief practices, inadequate information. Then number two, delay in reaching appropriate care. And this could be as a result of poor accessibility of the facility and can be as a result of bad road, means of transportation, and the distant distance of the facility, in reaching the facility. Then number three, delay in receiving appropriate care at the, facil at the facility level. This could be as a result in terms of shortage of personnel, inadequate equipment, and other facilities that are needed to, uh, to give prompt attention to a pregnant woman. The number four, public policy on health policies. Laws and policies related to critically important problems that affect safe motherhood, such as early marriage, unsafe abortion, women reproductive rights are still lacking. Health and nutritional services. There's a saying, good nutrition is the key to improve maternal complication. However, the health status of a woman who are not getting adequate nutrients and proper reproductive health services, the health could be affected. So we have interaction with provider. Some healthcare provider are not empathetic and caring. Most of our healthcare practitioners need to improve on their communication skills. Then we have gender discrimination. More attention given to a male child with regard to nutrition and education. 
lack of political will. There are no strong political assistance towards safe motherhood. Then we have psychological factors. Fear of childbirth, that is from previous experience, death of other children from previous experience. Illness in family, divorce as a result of marriage without consent. Then the next one is poor funding. Like I said the other time, that most of the safe motherhood program in Nigeria they are being funded by non-governmental organization. Then we have inadequate skilled personnel. Here are the future plan for safe motherhood. One, development of a new five-year strategic plan for safe motherhood. This one has been home since 2012. Then two, relaunch of the National Maternal Mortality Review Committee. Then three, establishment of high dependency units for maternity and newborn care at the regional hospitals. Then ongoing training of healthcare workers to strengthen the quality of care. Strengthening public education campaign for safe motherhood. And we have increased advocacy, public awareness about safe motherhood. The following are my are recommendations for strengthening safe motherhood in Africa, in Nigeria, and in Africa at large. One, advancement of safe motherhood through human rights. Safe motherhood is one of the components of the reproductive rights of a woman. So a, should, a woman should be empowered and this go in line with the third millennial development goal, empowerment of women. Three, making a of vital economic and social investment in safe motherhood. Four, delay in marriage and encouragement of girl child education. This is in support with this goal two of this millennium development goal. Ensuring skilled attendance at delivery, at each delivery. Improvement, improving access to quality reproductive health care services. Preventing unwanted pregnancy and address unsafe abortion. Then measuring the progress of safe motherhood. Utilizing the power of partnership, multi-sectoral collaborations, strengthening of midwifery training. In, my, in Nigeria, most midwifery schools are being owned by the government ranging from federal government and state government. And some are also owned by missionaries, mission churches. Then Raising awareness of issues surrounding safe motherhood locally as well as globally. And lastly, being an advocate in one's community for women to live healthy lifestyle and access health care. May I conclude by saying maternal and neonatal deaths will continue unless necessary strategies are put in place to reduce occurrence. Therefore, as midwives, locally, nationally, globally, can do it. We only need to accept that lives of women and children are worth saving. I want to say at this junction, thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Buki. Um, that's a brilliant uh, insight into the work that you're doing. Um, we've got um, Marie who's raised her hand and like to ask you a question. So I'm just going to enable um, her microphone. Hi, Marie. So if you'd like to go ahead and ask, turn your microphone on and ask Buki a question.
Okay, so I, I haven't heard um, from Marie. So there are, if anyone has any questions that you'd like to ask Buki, Buki, they, they, you can type the questions into the chat uh, box directly, or you can raise your hand. I can see that there's a few people uh, that are. Okay, so Marie, do you want to write your uh, your question for Buki? We've got a few people um, that look like they're writing to ask questions or make comments. So I'll just um, wait to see um, if, if anyone has any questions to ask. You can also put your hand up um, using the little man with his arm up. You can click the arrow and select um, raise a hand and we can give you access to the microphone. So if we've got people having similar problems and issues that they face from in South Africa, which reflects some of the um, things you talked about in your presentation. It, it was really interesting. Thanks, Nancy. Yeah, um, Buki, do you have any ideas um, on, on that, about mobilising women and their voices to, man, to demand better services. Is there anything in Nigeria that's been done to, um, you know, to mobilise women's voices? I don't know if you want to respond with your, with your audio, Buki. Yuki, yeah. Hello. Did you want to respond to any of these comments, Buki? Okay, thank you very much. I think. Hello, Hannah. Hello. Hello, we can hear. You. Hello. You can, hello. You can hear me. Yes, we can. Yeah. Okay. To maybe respond to some of the comments that people have made in the chat box. So Nancy's curious how involved the government is in bettering the status of women in general, and specifically pregnant and birthing women. So how involved yes, is the government? I think, like I said in my presentation, that our government in Nigeria has put up different strategies. But the problem we have in Nigeria is the implementation of the strategies. And where strategies are being implemented, there are no enough monitoring and evaluation towards the model. The, the, our government have different, so many um, agenda for safe motherhood. But the fact is that there are, there are there, there, there's lack of appropriate policies to, to emphasize, policy emphasizing on safe motherhood. And where there are policies, there are lack of implementation. And where is the implementation, there's lack of monitoring and evaluation. Thanks, Buki. I think, Elizabeth, the, you had a question um, to... You have help from non-governmental agencies. Are there other is that other resources that you you can use or 
get support from. Yuki, do you have any help from non-governmental agencies in Nigeria? Yes, yes, we have some a, a quite number of government non-governmental agency. We have the Gates, the Bill Gates Foundation, sponsoring the um, antiretroviral therapy, antiretroviral drugs for women living pregnant women living with HIV AIDS. Then we have there's a randomized trial that is going on presently in my hospital that is being sponsored by University of London Hygiene on women trial. The use of transemic acid it is a randomized trial. The use of transemic acid in the prevention of postpartum hemorrhage. And um, Jenny Hall, uh, hi Jenny, um, asked if there's anything we in other countries can do to support midwives in Nigeria. Yes, Jenny, I quite appreciate your question. Midwife in Nigeria, we actually need your support, support from the developed countries. We want our voices to be heard more, the voices of the midwife to be to be heard more, more than the one we are having now. And then um, we equally need your help. We need your help. We we are the field. We actually face a lot of problem. We actually face a lot of problem that require at the level of um, staff strength. We talk about the number of midwives caring for a huge large of number of women facility modern facility we talk of modern equipment for effective for effective care we actually need your help in this area in terms of staffing then training of more midwives in nigeria presently there's a program called midwifery service scheme but i tell you implementation is the difficult aspect for our country for, our, for the government of our country to actually meet up to their own standard so we need the, the, the help of the developed countries in helping us to start strength facilities equipment modern facilities the 21st century Equipment. Thank you. Thanks, Buki. Um, uh, it's, you know, this, it's great that you've had an opportunity to talk and share with us today. And I suppose it's about keeping the conversation going now um, and keeping connected. So you may want to share in the chat box your email address, or I know that your contact details may be accessible via the um by the wiki wiki space and um, so that okay. if anybody does want to offer further support um then that might be something okay. that can be continued after this this talk one of the things i wanted to ask you is whether there was anything in your view that you felt was was done really well in your areas of practice in terms of midwifery mm -hmm. care Pardon? Uh, my question was whether what what aspects of the of midwifery care do you feel are done really well in Nigeria? What are the the aspects that you you know you feel um, you're proud of or that that works well? Yes, the is 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 our joy as midwife in Nigeria when you see a pregnant woman coming into the labour suit and at the long run she has she put to bed she has a, a safe delivery not minding the stress you go through in the process of the care but your joy is the woman eventually put to bed and have a safe delivery 
Hello. Thank you, Vicky. That's lovely. So, um, if anyone has any other questions for Vicky, that now would be a good opportunity. We still have um, six minutes left for people to air their views. Um, if there aren't any more questions, then perhaps you'd like to show your appreciation for Buki by um, by giving her a round of applause, by clicking on your little man with his arm up and selecting the, the clapping hands. Or you might want to leave a comment. So, um, I think so, uh, Nikki is, is uh, writing, so... Yeah, thank you everybody for your questions. Thank you very much, Buki, for your time and sharing your experiences and challenges with us. It gives us lots of information and, and helps us to reflect on, on our own practice. We've got one person that's raised their hands, so I'm going to uh, give them an opportunity to ask you a question. So I'll just enable... Thank you. They've, sorry, they've... We've put the hand down now. So I think it looks like they're going to type their question. So we'll just wait for that if that's okay, Buki. Um, the cat was on the keyboard, that's funny. Okay, so um I'm just going to round up this session then. Thank, thank you so much again, Buki, um, for, for your time. There are some references here um, that uh, support Buki's work. And I think... Thank you very much. I also want to say I'm very grateful for the privilege given to me to represent my country and to say something about my profession. Thank you for this opportunity. I am very grateful. God bless you. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm going to turn the record off, recording off now. And um, 